Nutrient Control Program's Overview Video Introduction. Today we're going to be outlining the inline nutrient control program and some nutrient control basics as an introduction to the nutrient control programs. Areas we're going to cover today include inline nutrient programs, nutrient control basics, nutrient control overview, and a summary. Inline Nutrient Control Program The Inline Nutrient Control Program consists of several areas in the Argus software, each of which contains several functions or setup parameters. The diagram shows the program functions and the various sensors that are used for operation. The sensors with a blue background are optional and may not be required for your circumstances. In addition, the multi-feed unit utilizes standalone pressure sensors for monitoring and alarm purposes. These are linked to system operation and conditional alarms as part of your system configuration. The first three functions are used as start-stop conditions. They perform a variety of tests to ensure that it's safe to operate the injector unit. The feeds, targets, and modifier sections are where you set your target feeding levels and allowances for any conditional modifiers such as light levels. The feed forward section calculates the correct amount of fertilizer to inject based on the current measured flow rate. The feedback correction section is used for monitoring and alarm purposes and to correct for minor errors in the feed forward calculations. Desired output is the final result of the program. It's used to operate the metering valves on the multi-feed unit. A separate desired result is produced for both EC and pH control. This section of the video outlines nutrient control basics and a nutrient control program overview. There are two main nutrient control programs. The nutrient injection program, the feed recipes program. These programs are normally used in conjunction with other types of control programs to build complete nutrient control applications. Within an application, the individual control programs work in an interconnected fashion to accomplish an overall control objective. A variety of nutrient delivery control strategies can be configured on the Argus Titan system. Nutrient injection and feed recipe programs are used for mixing and delivering nutrients from stock concentrates. In other situations, where premixed or pre-diluted feeds are available, other control programs can be used for nutrient delivery and control. This program is intended for users who are familiar with the general principles of fertilizer chemistry and the risks and benefits that liquid feed programs have on crop production. Premixed fertilizers. With premixed fertilizers, only one concentrate is delivered at a time, since most or all of the desired nutrients have been pre-blended into a single bag. Separate pH adjustment may still be required. The following diagram illustrates how you might use the nutrient control and feed recipe programs to deliver a variety of pre-blended or complete feeds with a multi-head injector system. Note that in the illustration only four of the possible 14 stock tanks are being used. Your application might require more or fewer tanks. With the above configuration, each concentrate tank contains a specific fertilizer blend. Since the nutrient control program supports up to 14 separate concentrate tanks plus an acid and base adjusting tank, you can inject up to 14 different feed formulations, many more than you likely ever need. Some advantages. Convenience. Requires the least complicated and least expensive injection equipment. Quality and chemical analysis is assured by the fertilizer manufacturer. You can't make a mistake blending the fertilizer. Since the chemistry is known and fixed, EC measurements can be used to reliably predict the elemental concentrations in the dilute feeding solutions. AB mixes. With this type of feeding strategy, two concentrated stock solutions, separated to avoid chemical precipitation at high concentrations, are used to produce a complete dilute feed solution. One tank, usually called the A tank, contains calcium nitrate and sometimes other compatible materials, such as half the total potassium nitrate requirement. This practice helps overcome the low solubility of potassium nitrate by sharing the solubility load between both stock tanks. The B tank generally contains the rest of the concentrates including phosphate and sulfate materials required to make up the complete dilute fertilizer formula. A third C tank is sometimes used to boost one or more of the fertilizer constituents under certain conditions. Some advantages. Cost. Basic fertilizer constituents are usually less expensive than blended materials. Flexibility. When dissolving the materials for each stock tank refill, it's possible to alter their chemistry within each tank to suit the current conditions. You are not limited to the premix formulas supplied by the fertilizer companies. You can vary the injection ratios between the A and B tanks at any time. Single element dosing. Individual element control opens up the possibility for an injection system to produce almost any feed composition or concentration without any changes to the stock solutions. 
A single system supplied with the appropriate fertilizer concentrates can produce almost any feed formulation on the fly. The nutrient injection and feed recipe programs on the Titan system have been specifically designed to accomplish this. In the illustration, each tank contains a fertilizer compound. Some of these compounds supply only one nutritional element, while others may supply two or more. For convenience, the trace elements are provided from a pre-blended source. An additional iron tank has been included to boost the iron levels for certain crops. By varying the proportions from each tank, it's possible to create a wide range of fertilizer recipes from the same stock concentrates. With up to 14 stock tanks, it's also possible to administer the trace elements separately if needed. Advantages Fertilizer cost Basic fertilizer constituents are less expensive than blended materials. Maximum flexibility The relative ratios of the fertilizer elements can be adjusted at any time. Stock solution preparation is less complex as only one fertilizer source is prepared in each stock solution. Control Overview Now that we know what the nutrient control programs are capable of, let's look at how they do it. This section provides an overview of the key program linkages and functions. This diagram illustrates how the nutrient control programs in the yellow boxes and the irrigation programs in the green boxes work together to accomplish automatic watering and nutrient injection. The red lines indicate program linkages to and from the nutrient programs and the green lines indicate the other irrigation linkages. Linkage lines entering from the left are inputs to the programs and lines exiting on the right are outputs. Some of these linkages are assigned individually during program setup and configuration and others happen automatically once the programs are assigned to an irrigation system. All physical inputs and outputs are managed through the I.O. module programs. These program linkages are created during system configuration and you should never need to alter them after that. The illustration is just to show how nutrient control is fully integrated with irrigation control. Here's a simplified sequence of the major events occurring during an irrigation watering. An irrigation schedule decides it's time to water. It creates a watering request that includes the zones to water, the watering duration, and the feed to be used. This request is passed on to the irrigation system manager. The irrigation system program operates the system pump and processes watering requests in the order they occur within the capacity of the system. It also separates watering requests by feed type, since only one feed can be delivered at a time. To do this, it declares what the current feed is. The Nutrient Injection Program obtains the current feed information from the irrigation system. It finds the recipe for this feed in the linked Feed Recipes program. This recipe contains the concentrate injection instructions to produce the correct dilute feed. The irrigation system turns on the irrigation pump and gives the signal to begin watering designated zones. An irrigation zones program then provides the signals to operate each of the requested zone valves so that water begins flowing into the zones. The nutrient injection program uses information from its flow meter to automatically adjust the nutrient injection rates to match the irrigation water flow rate. Once configured, this entire process is automatic. For a more in-depth look at nutrient control programs, check out the next video in the series, Using Nutrient Control Programs. Click the link below to open the new video. For more information on nutrient systems, watch the other nutrient series videos, or read the nutrient control programs reference, nutrient systems, nutrient acid injector, multi-feed RM, or the dosing handbook guides.